Uh, further on down the road, we stopped by Patricia Green Cellars and had a nice little conversation with Caroline in the tasting room there. And for the six pack, we chose their 2018 Reserve Pinot Noir. Just an awesome, amazing quality to price ratio Pinot that I think you'll really enjoy. We're here today at Patricia Green Cellars, and uh, I'm, stand, I'm sitting here with uh, Caroline Stoneville, and she is the uh, direct sales manager here at Patricia Green. And um, I'm going to be uh, including the 2018 Patricia Green Cellars Reserve Pinot Noir in the, uh, in the six pack. So I just wanted to sit with you for a few minutes and ask you a few questions about, you know, the, the winery as a whole and uh, and this. Particular wine uh, in particular. So, uh, tell us a little bit about Patricia Green Cellars and how long you've been here and um, why you have lost My name is Carolyn. I've worked here at Patricia Green Cellars since June 2015. Uh, the winery has been here uh, since 2000. So, the vineyard itself was planted in 1984. So, we bought an already existing winery and vineyard. So, we have good age of the vines here in the Ribbon Ridge. We're in the smallest AVA within the Willamette Valley. It's a very special little AVA, only about five square miles. 100% uh, marine sedimentary soil. And this particular wine is typically about 30% of the estate uh, fruit every year. This is one of our larger production pinots and one that we work really hard to make sure that it's really good because this is one of our larger production wines that makes it out in national distribution um, and it is a very good quality wine for the price point. So mm -hmm. it's a little um, more affordable on the price point level than some of our higher end bottles. But I think many people that have been purchasing it over the years would say that it rivals some of those higher end bottlings. So for the price point, excellent Pinot Noir. We find that it hits a lot of, um, it's kind of a crowd pleaser. It's a lot of people's um, Pinot kind of perfect zone. It's a nice balance between the fruit and the earth. So it's going to be uh, kind of organ, but also have some old world characteristics to it too. Uh, we use more uh, neutral oak on this one because we know that a lot of people aren't going to hang on to it. They're going to just want to dive into it right away. So we want to make sure that it's approachable and ready to drink kind of right away. Okay. And but with that, how um, does it have the structure to age lay down a little bit? Absolutely. We actually just opened the 2010 the other day and it was so good that we were like, Huh, I wonder what the older ones taste like. So we opened in 05 and we were like, whoa, this is amazing <laughs> still. So definitely you can lay it down for a good 5, 10, 15 years if you like, but I don't think you're going to make it that long. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but how many vineyards are, are represented in this one? So this is actually a blend of all of the vineyards that we source from. So uh, we currently source from um, the estate property and three sites in the Shehalo Mountains, and three sites in the Dundee Hills, and then another site just south of the Eola Amity Hills called Freedom Hill. So it's it's kind of a kind of perfect blend of every vintage. Okay. And uh, I understand that you know um, the, the growing of the grapes and viticulture is really an important part of what Patricia Green Cellars is. Um, could you talk a little bit about like uh, what are some of your farming practices and what your goals are with that? Yes, absolutely. So when Patricia Green Cellars came into existence, uh, founded by Patty Green and Jim Anderson in 2000, that was their goal from the right out of the gate to make wines that were very true to the vintage and very true to the terroir. So we have a very natural, very hands-off approach to winemaking here. And because we do everything kind of in the old world, old fashioned style, we don't add anything. There's no added yeast, everything just 
all the formats are very small, we have to make sure we get it right in the vineyard. So we farm all organically. We only work with vineyards that have the same sort of farming philosophies as us, whether it's uh, organic or biodynamic, sustainable farming, those are all things that we feel very strongly about. And we believe that if you get it right from the get-go, you're bringing in the best quality fruit, and then our job is just to not ruin it during winemaking. And so how you ruin Pinot is by handling it too much. So we uh, really just let the wines make themselves. Uh, we do everything in very small batches, one and a half ton, two ton fermentation vessels, and we are still 100% pijage, so actual human beings stopping grapes. <laughs> and that's the gentlest approach and the way you can really get the most concentration and the most um, beautiful fruit from your Pinot. You know? We also don't do any filtering or any fines, which are uh, things that can strip the fruit away. So we really want you to taste the earth, the dirt, and the, the vintage. Minimal intervention. So yes, exactly. Great. Um, and then this is a 2018. Um, what did you find that was unique and special about the wines that we made here in that I'm a huge fan of the 2018 vintage. We've had um, kind of a series the last decade or two where we keep getting these warmer vintages here. And um, 2017, we had a little more challenge during harvest in terms of some cooler, wet weather. Um, 2018, we didn't have that at all. So the wines for 2018 are a little denser and a little darker in color, and just have a little bit more of that forward fruit that really show well kind of like Is there another recent vintage that you would like it to, or? I think they're really similar to the 16, which was an excellent vintage yeah. here in Oregon. Okay. And then uh, last question, what, what, are, what would you pop this open with at, at home as far as a lot of food there? Mm, that's a good question. Uh, I am a big kind of cheese and charcuterie person. Mm -hmm. So this wine would go great with something like that. Also being summertime, be great with a pork loin, grilled veggies. Um, those are kind of some of my favorites. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge and sharing the wine. I appreciate it. And once you've tried this and enjoyed it, we made 27 other Pinot Noirs here in the winery. So, thank you.